All right, so this first problem, we have negative three and a quarter plus five and two thirds. Notice that we do not have like denominators and our first term is negative and our second term is positive. Whenever you have signs that are opposite, you are going to subtract the absolute value of those two terms. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just convert each one of these mixed numbers into their improper fraction equivalents. The first thing we do is we just rewrite our denominators as they are, a four and a three. And then we multiply our denominator by the whole number and then take that product and add the numerator to that. So three times four is 12 and 12 plus one is 13. And in that process, we don't worry about this negative right here. We just ignore it for now and do three times four is 12 plus one is 13. And then after we're finished converting, then we just slide our negative sign down. All right, for this mixed number, we do three times five is 15, plus two more is 17. And then we slide our plus sign directly below. All right, the next thing we have to do is find our lowest common denominator, which in this case would be 12. Now to turn this four into 12, we had to multiply that by three. So we have to increase this numerator by a factor of three. And this three became four times bigger, so we increase the 17 by a factor of four. 13 times three is 39. 17 times four is 68. And we slide down that negative, and we slide down this plus sign. All right, now, we know that our denominator is going to be 12 because whenever you're adding and subtracting, we just keep that denominator as it is. So really, we are just trying to figure out what is negative 39 and positive 68. So I'm just going to write that as if it were just a regular integer addition problem. So negative 39 plus 68. All right, now, one thing that we can do with integers is we can take the sign in front of each number, and we can actually switch around the terms. So this expression right here is the same thing as 68 minus 39. And that makes it easier for our brains to process. So all we have to do is take 68 and subtract 39, which in this case would be 29. So that's our numerator. And notice we had more positives than negatives. 68 had a larger absolute value than negative 39, so we had to use positive. So now we just take 29 over 12 and convert it back into a mixed number. You just ask yourselves, how many 12s can we divide into 29? And that's two groups of 12, which is 24. And 24 is five away from 29, so that is our numerator. And the denominator just stays the same. So the answer is two and five twelfths. All right, now with this problem, notice the first term is negative and the second term is actually considered positive. Whenever you are subtracting a negative, by rule, you make both of those signs positive. So notice that the first term is negative and the second term is now positive. And we would say the first term, which is further away from zero, has a larger absolute value, meaning our answer is going to be negative at the end. So let's keep that in mind. All right, so what we're gonna do is convert each one of these into an improper fraction. Five times seven is 35. 35 plus three is 38. The denominator stays the same. And then we take our negative and we just migrate it along with our improper fraction. Here we have two times two is four plus one more is five. So that's going to be plus five halves. All right, next we have to have a common denominator. So we're gonna convert this five and the two into tenths. That is the lowest common denominator. We doubled the five, so we have to double the 38, and that is going to be 76. And then this two got five times bigger, so this five gets five times bigger, so that is going to be 25. All right, so we have negative 76 tenths and positive 25 tenths. So let's just consider the numerators, all right? So we have negative 76 plus 25. Now, if you wish, you can always switch your terms around if it makes it easier for your brain to process. So we can look at this as 25 minus 76, but this might not be helpful for 
some people because notice that we're taking away more than what we start with. In either situation, we should understand that our answer is going to be negative. And because the signs are opposite, one negative and one positive, we have to subtract the two values from each other. So we take 76 minus 25, and that is 51. Our denominator stays the same, which is 10. And we add more negatives. So our answer is negative 51 tenths. And after converting that back into a mixed number, that's going to be negative 5 and 1 tenth. All right? And that is our final solution.